<laughs> hey, Dr. Oz, yeah. I'm here for my second visit. Uh, yeah, good to see you all. Feeling Glad. better from the last one. My uh, allergies aren't so bad, and the tingling that I had down my neck, that's a lot better. And uh, I'm not waking up every morning with my back just feeling weak and not having to go through and do like an hour's worth of stretching to uh, just feel on. like my back's not going to go out on me. <laughs> right, okay. So whatever you did the last time actually worked. All right. We like that, right? We're always we're always looking for that to happen, and so uh, we're excited about our second visit. And uh, let's see what we can do. So let's okay. go face up. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll as we kind of go through, we go through a bit of a protocol for me that I've kind of created over the last 18 years. That basically brings into a lot of different things. But we'll, you know, not everyone's always lying down all day long, right? right? So we want to see what happens when you're seated, when you're standing. You know, when we're in a gate, we'll get to a gated position, and and we're just trying to see. When we change the parameters of the testing, what's your brain think of that? Yeah. Um, because your brain runs everything, including your muscles and your joints. So we really want to come back to you know making sure nervous system is communicating good with body, right? So we're second visit today, um, we're actually going to get into something kind of neat today. Uh, is old injuries. So a lot of people don't realize that your eyes will kind of deviate to a point of impact, and neurologically kind of create almost like a, a feedback loop into the nervous system from that injury back in and what it does is says you know he was running and gunning that one time he broke his leg and irritated so bad i'm not going to completely like i'll put on most of the muscle fibers but maybe not all of them in their entirety because the last time you know ralph was going he hurt me so i'm going to kind of slow him down whether he likes it or not so that makes you more susceptible to other injuries yeah. um, and it can create more problems over time where now i change the biomechanics that joint and it increases my chances of arthritis down the road or osteoarthritis yeah. Yeah. So old injuries are super important. So we go into, we work on some reflexes in the feet and on the neck, just depending on where we are in the body. Yeah. And it actually is like, think of it like, if you put on too much uh, information on your computer, right? Yeah. And um, it starts to slow down. So you get the IT guy in there and he cleans up that unnecessary info that's kind of going in. Yeah. Well, old injuries can be a lot like that. And they might not even be nagging. I don't really feel any pain or discomfort. That feedback loop is created because again, your eyes are trying to deviate and get away from it. Yeah. So we want to want to work on basically negating that. And what typically we'll see is an increase in range of motion. Because yeah. when someone's stressing, they do this. So those old injuries can kind of be bombarding the nervous system. When we get rid of them, the brain goes, oh, right, doc, I got better range of motion, or I'm more equal on my range of motion yeah. than I ever have been before. Which again is going to lead to uh, better anything and decrease in pain. Okay, so that being said, just for the heck of it here, let's do a little bit, bring this down. Okay. We're just going to do general range of motion. We're okay. going to see if we make any changes when we work on the old injuries. Okay. Uh, and we'll come back and look and see what we got. Okay. So you just relax, and okay. I'm just going to kind of go general. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And I'm just going to do general range of motion. So okay. we get about there. We're, you know, about maybe 90, yeah. right? And it starts to tighten up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Right? So that's not bad. So we're going to kind of walk around this way. And... We're going to bring this down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Good. And then we're going to come with this one. And then okay. relax and I got gotcha. you. Now we're going to come here. And we're actually quite a bit more on this right side, which is not what we want to see. I can almost go up here. I start getting tight when I start moving, but there's a lot more range of motion on the right than the left. And we want range of motion, but probably more importantly is balanced from yeah. side to side, which you know being the ambidextrous tennis player, right? We want, yeah, hey, we want yeah. balance. So we're going to look at that. So some reasons why that might happen, again, is old injuries creating that information that says they get tighter on one side and not so much on the other. So now we're going to kind of just do leg right okay. here. Kind of, kind of come up. Yeah, hand a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And we're probably right about here. We start getting a little, a little yeah. bit tighter, right about there. So we're, I don't know, you know, Maybe just past 45, right? Yeah. And if we come here, let's see what we got here. And actually, we're opposite, right? So we actually see quite a bit more here. We're almost 90 here, yeah. whereas we're only about 45 on the right, right. which is kind of interesting because what will happen is compensation. If I got more range of motion here, brain says, whoa, I better get more over here. I'm just trying to balance out. Right? Or vice versa. Yeah. Right? So um, we're going to uh, write a quick note on that. And yeah, well, I've had a lot of injuries. And I've had dislocated shoulders, um, broke my nose six times. Okay. Heavy okay. blows to the head, uh, broken collarbone, um, broken foot, crushed toes, 
Um, wow. <laughs> and uh, a yeah, lot so, of so this uh, should, this should traumatic be industries with right. uh, riding big waves yeah. and wipeouts and stuff. Right. That yeah. just like separates all your joints and pulls, pulls your arms and legs out like you're a rubber band and then they snap back in. So we had an increase on the left, increased on the right. Yes. Yes, I want to make sure we got that correctly so we can go back to, to look at. Now, so we're going to start with the feet and work our way up. Okay. okay. So we go over broken bones, dislocations, scars, burns, tattoos, major traumas, and surgeries from the time you're a little fella till today, right? So again, just kind of go slow for me, but we're going to start okay. with the feet and okay. work our way up. So broken toes or dislocations or what yeah. do you think? Um, crushed big toe on the left foot. Left foot, okay. So let's just do a slight show and tell here. Okay. So push out as hard as you can. Okay, muscle's nice and strong. Muscle is just a window in the brain, right? Yeah. So we're not doing anything, muscle stays strong. I'm gonna pinch right here. Hopefully we haven't hurt this. Have we ever hurt this really bad? That we know of trauma? Other well? than contusions and karate. Okay, and well, let's, we're gonna find out here. All right, push out as hard as you can. Not so much, okay. So when I pinch here, if there hasn't been any major trauma, that's just annoying. You're like, hey, stop pinching me, man. But if there's an injury, it actually stimulates pain receptors yeah. and those old injury or muscle memory from that. Yeah. So we're gonna go, we broke this big toe, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna kind of mash on it a bit, kind of move it around, pinch on it, aggravate it, just like we did at that other spot. Yeah. Okay, all right, push out for me, push out for me. Right? Nothing, right? Yeah, that's Is it? Yeah. Wild, right? Yeah. So really what happens is I pinch here, hey, I broke that. Even if it was years ago, brain goes, best computer ever. Yeah. I remember that. And it's not just about annoying, it's actually I'm creating that yeah. feedback. And yeah. now muscle just as a window in the brain. Yeah. And brain focuses on this yeah. and this shuts down. Yeah. Okay, make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. So all right, so now there's again reflexes in the talus joint, this joint here. We pinch, we kind of work on almost neg you know, negating that information just through neurology of the joints. And if we do our job right, we'll see a change. And it literally is this easy when you see it and you're like, what? I have a claim to fame on this. I had a bull rider came in here one time. Yeah. He braced, well, they, how they are. They had like every bone broken yeah. in their yeah. body like twice. Yeah. And uh, this gentleman, push out, boom, nice and strong, right? Yeah. It's gone. So it's literally that fast. And so, had insomnia, hadn't slept a night in like 10 years. And so he did sleep studies, did acupressure, did chiropractic, did nutrition, do pharmaceuticals, yeah. he got did everything. I don't know what am I gonna do with this guy. So I go in here, do this. He's a doctor, I'm all in pain. And he's almost annoyed with me. And I'm like, but this is the only thing I can think of. Let's just do it and see what happens. Calls me the next day. Yeah. Hey, I slept through all my meetings. How did that work? And I said, well, you don't realize that, okay, maybe you're not in pain and discomfort, but if you feel all those feedback loops, mm -hmm. keep going, keep yeah, going. Yeah. I go, for all you know, the bull, the, your brain probably thought the bull was still trying to chase you. Yeah. So you're like that and you can't get to sleep. So when we negated all that, increased range of motion, and his brain finally, and he actually slept. That was his answer. And again, so it's interesting how everybody's unique. So yeah. you wanna treat the person, not necessarily, you know, hey, this is yeah. what I came in. Well, how did you get here, right? So anyways, continuing on. So that's the foot. Yeah. That's my show and tell. Okay. Now we're just going to fix everything, and I'm okay. going to stop kind of talking. We're just going to go old injuries. So okay. we got the toe. What else do we got? Um, twisted ankles. On my leg, go. Yeah. I can't tell you how many twisted ankles I've had being <laughs> okay. a tennis pro. And okay. All right. So we're going to work on that. <laughs> that's so too many. Yeah. yeah. So we talk about origin insertion. So a muscle originates somewhere and it inserts somewhere. And typically, when we rip and tear something. We rip and tear from the origin or and or the insertion. So we go origin insertion technique, even if it's a long, long time ago, we're gonna have scar tissue, myofascial problems, and we just wanna try and break down all that tissue, even still there. And again, you're trying to activate the muscle a little bit more. And even down the road, it's like, gosh, that's still tender. Yeah. And so you think about it, have you ever seen Velcro? Yeah. Right, so you got Velcro wallets and all that. Okay. 
you got Velcro on the end of the bone and you kind of have Velcro on the end of the tendon which attaches to the bone. And so we're literally kind of mashing it back on. Yeah. And it tenderly is, is usually tender, so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. then we have some things in there. The 350 Rolf things, yeah. at least. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, it's okay. This is a lot of They did a lot of work on my ankles. <laughs> so, and my feet. so, when we look at this, again, we got uh, things that are kind of like glue. Um, and they glue the tissue back on. They're called gags glucoaminoglycans and they basically help kind of so we're just trying to work through that and stimulate and work down any again soft tissue stuff that's still there from years ago and activate this muscle a little bit better so now you move this joint better and if you move this joint better in the foot you typically move your knee better if yeah. you move your knee better you typically move your hip better and again now you start to see how it's all connected and that old song, right? Hip yep. bone connected to the, you know, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, and so you could have a problem in your foot causing a problem in your knee or your back, yep. right? So again, I don't want to just focus on Ralph as, well, he came in with a back problem yep. and just look at your back. When we do that, we typically miss it. We miss the getting you truly better. Okay, so continuing on. So that was that. Do we okay. do the other ankle as well, or no? Or no, yeah, massive foot? sprains on the right side, but uh, also broken cuboid bone okay. on the right foot, and then crushed uh, little toe on the right foot. Okay. And so, sorry, because we got off a little bit on the the uh, that foot on the left, <laughs> jumping around because we got so many. Did we have anything else on the left foot? No, or no, that was that was, that the was main. it. Just relax. You know, I can't even tell you how many sprains. And then crush big toe. Okay. With this one, I had the broken bone. I was dropping into into a skateboard bowl and uh, <laughs> lost my skateboard and landed on my ankle and broke my foot. I was yeah. general manager of the skateboard park and I was the only one in the park at that time. So I laid down at the bottom of the pool with a <laughs> broken foot. For like two hours, it swelled up like a giant watermelon. Finally, uh, somebody came and helped me get out, and I had a, I was in a cast for like months. I was just like, oh man, what was I thinking? Oh gosh, it's you know what's fun for me is actually hearing people's stories, right? Yeah. Of their life, right, and stuff coming back. Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember this. Oh my, and then the, yeah. And then so this is interesting, Ralph, because so many people come in. And the reason they're here it is stress. They come back to physical, chemical, mental stress, everything. Yeah. And they all say, I'm not stressed. I haven't had a stressful life. Yeah. And we start talking about this and they go, holy mackerel, I got a story. Yeah. We yeah. usually think that well, I don't have a story. I don't have yeah. a, not much going on. And when we start to talk about it, we start, no, you got a big story. Yeah. Man, I broke a lot of stuff. Yeah. No wonder I'm sore. No wonder my range of motion has yeah. changed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah. So it's it's fun. And again, it just kind of shines the light on. Yeah. You know, we all we all have a story, and it's it's really how our bodies kind of react to that story yeah. makes us you know whether we're healthy or not healthy yeah. or whatnot. So I've had a lot of body slams on to uh, yeah the reefs and also Jeez. on the beach and surfing and oh. bad wipe house and stuff and slamming into the surfboard. He used to say if I was going to know I was going to grow to be this old, I probably would have just <laughs> taken up golf. <laughs> Nothing against golfers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, oh, yeah. Extreme sports, you pay a price. Yeah. Yes, most definitely. Let alone all the skateboarding and injuries I got skateboarding. Yeah. I completely wore that ankle off my foot on that side. Yeah. Uh, we were doing a thing called trimaraning, and the guy across from me let go, and my leg became the stopper for the uh, probably 600 pounds of three guys going down the street on skateboards really ate away my shoe and just erased my ankle off of my leg plus tore all the skin off of it too it really it really hurt that's for sure yeah so that was I passed out later that day wow well that's the story we haven't even got past your feet <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we might only be doing the lower extremities today. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to, right? yeah. have to just get halfway, yeah. right? Yeah, this body's seen some injuries, <laughs> that's for sure. We've got some time constraints here. Yeah.
<laughs> I'd like to be home before midnight. <laughs> yeah. Well, dang, I'm ready for my glorified body, one that hasn't been hurt. <laughs> I'm ready for that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, continuing on. We've got ankles both sides. That was good. And then shins and knees. Surgeries, broken bones, dislocations, mm. scars, burns, tattoos, major traumas. Um, other than just blocking kicks and stuff in karate. Okay, we well, usually block in like, yeah, like Muay Thai with with the shins. shins. Yeah, okay. We're getting kicked in the shins. Yep. All right, so we'll work on that. Yeah, I actually wish I started with a guy in 2000 doing MMA and. Uh, they're stuck with it. It kind of started back up again. Yeah. And uh, man, he he's like, if you would have stayed with me. You'd be pretty good by now. Yeah. You know, 18 years later, but life gets in the way. So I'm trying to actually yeah. pick that up again. And yeah. Yeah. You take a bit of a beating. That's the truth. With the with the shins and the kicks and if you're not getting out of the way, the kicks. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. 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 I don't care how fast you are, there's already some, always somebody that's faster and better. Yeah. That's going well, to dish like, out some punishment because you're too slow. Playing hockey all the time, we, we just stand there and go toe to toe, you know. Yeah. So I was doing a little bit of that and the, the guy if it was a, if I was sparring with, he just kept kicking me and I just kept taking him. Yeah. And my, my the sensei, like, Todd. Yeah. Doc, you, you, you got to move or you got to block. You're yeah. not going to have a knee left if yeah. you keep oh, <laughs> just taking those. I'm like, those are starting yeah. to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's not what we're used to. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, uh, it starts to get on you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the right knee, I don't, I've never had an x-ray or anything, but I can't run anymore. Okay. I had, um, you know, got to a point where it was so painful to run, I, had, I just couldn't run anymore. Yeah. At least long distance. So, you know, I wondered how much Ralph of that is from the complete beating from from skateboarding and everything yeah. that you did with this like right this foot. Yeah. That the the right knee just compensated and just took you know deteriorated away quicker, right? And uh, now, hey, I can't run it. And because if the right foot is never really fixed, you're just you're running incorrectly, yeah. hitting, striding wrong, and so this right side is going to inflame. Where you get to a point like I, I can't even go a few blocks without it hurting or, yeah. or you know so I just I don't run anymore. Well, there's nothing I could do for the cuboid bone once that snaps. There's no surgery or anything that fixes it. They yeah. just leave it alone. Yeah. So like sometimes at night, like just not last night, but the night before, I woke up and oh, it was hurting so bad. I just yeah. I'd go out and put my foot in a massage to see if I could release it. Yeah. Oh, it's just like ah. yeah. So with us, we might work on adjusting because again. If you broke it, you're going to yeah. have soft tissue. Yeah. And the problem with this is that it's going to heal in eight weeks or whatever. Yeah. Well, how does it heal? It heals the scar tissue, myofascial problems. Yeah. So that's a problem. And so we can work on that stuff. We should immediately work on it. Yeah. But still now we can work on it, which we're going to have better range mode. We're going to have better motion in there. And hopefully that's enough. Like, Doc, it's decreased the pain or the yeah. inflammation. Yeah. I don't notice as much. Or, Doc, I, I really don't notice it at all anymore. Okay, good. Really, it was a lot of the soft tissue stuff that we had to address, yeah. um, but never was. So, anyway, um, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? So, um, going from here to here, uh, thighs or, or any surgery? Um, anything? Let's see. Um, my okay. body slams into the... <laughs> into the beach, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking one for sure is if we're we're doing uh, karate MMA or something, oh, we'll yeah. probably landed on a rear end maybe once yeah. or twice or surface just kicks. Yeah. Okay. You know. So do me a favor, hand right on the on the rung. So as we move up the body, we don't have to uh, pinch, right? So if yeah. you're on it, your brain's like, yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, I landed on here or I broke this. I can take that hand out. Let's use the opposite one. <clears throat> yep, in there. And so we just work on again the reflexes in the in the ankle, or the talus here, joint. Okay, continuing on. And um, yeah, I had some injuries. I went over a cliff on a motorcycle, and so <laughs> I'm not even sure I didn't break any bones. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sure yeah. I experienced right, some trauma, tore all the skin off of my forearms and my legs. 
Okay, we got legs, so we're yeah. up on four. So let's let's look. How let's go with hands. Okay, hands. Broken uh, fingers. Well, um, no broken fingers, but I had the duptigens contracture, okay. so I had surgery on that. Okay, so that uh, still hurts. The the, the surgery stuff still hurts. Okay, hold, just hold on to that spot for me. Yeah, with with, with your other hand. So yeah, just hold on to that one spot. You can rub in there, Ralph, and pinch on it a bit, and just kind of annoy it and aggravate it a bit. And we'll try to use cold laser. Maybe, maybe we'll see some decrease in discomfort in there from the surgery. I don't know. Maybe the injury recall. We'll talk about some stuff. And we'll just kind of again, just trying to get the nervous system to calm down any way you can and see well, if there makes a difference. Well, scar tissue keeps on growing on yeah. there, so I yeah. grind it down with the Dremel tool. Okay. To keep the scar tissue down. Uh, that hurts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Especially when I go too deep. Yeah. It goes into the tissue. Uh, it starts to bleed. That really sucks. Okay. All right, hold it down. We're gonna talk. Okay, next. Any other fingers you got? Fingers. Um, no broken fingers. Okay. Uh, said forearms. So maybe wherever you think you yeah, kind of places where tore the skin off. Okay, so you're just holding blocks and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, you just hold. Probably blocks. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they get so black and blue. In fact, oh, I had had to have surgery on it. Um, yeah. Right here because I got a big lump in it from getting hit so many times in karate. So yeah. I got a tumor in there that they had to take out. Not a tumor. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> my my Arnie yeah, impersonation. Yeah, I was passed not that. A tumor. On that one, the guy got done. I watched the surgery and <laughs> was walking out of his office, and I passed out in the elevator. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm fine, doc. No problem. Oh my like, gosh. Sometimes wonder, boy, was that that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, young and dumb, right? Yeah. yeah. Silly. Oh, well, we're guys, right? We're indestructible. Yeah. That's what. That's how we roll. Okay, uh, other forearm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, moving up. There we go. Okay, we're off uh, backside. Just, yeah, there you go. Yeah, kind of more. Yeah, right there you go. Good. There's the forearm there. Okay, keep going. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Relax. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we got that side. So okay. anything else we can think of as we go to shoulder, clavicle, broken? Yeah, broken clavicle here and yeah. then, uh, dislocated shoulder on the side. Okay, so and, uh, we'll do that. So as we move up closer to the neck, yeah. it seems to be, for some reason, C1, the first yeah. vertebra. When we massage or work on that, it's called a micro adjustment. Yeah. Just gently kind of, it seems to calm the nervous system down. And mainly because we'll, we'll try and get away. So we're trying to get back into flex that, hey, kind of change that feedback loop as opposed to doing this while while we hold. So hold on to the clavicle. So yeah, yeah, yeah so just kind of right there. And then again, we're kind of working, instead of working on the, the foot or the joint there to reflex it, we're using the neck. And again, kind of right on there. Okay, now we go back in here for shoulder. Now we go back in here. So again, more origin insertion technique, and it's going to hurt like, uh, yeah, you're like hating me right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been through all of it. Yeah, that's right. And it's just like, okay. Oh. So again, it's interesting, right? Like years later, we still got some pretty good stuff here. Again, this is this origin insertion stuff. Oh, 
So this is the day you wouldn't want to do chest. <laughs> <laughs> workout, right? How do you go work out today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, be working yeah. on videos on your Yeah. yeah. So I'll work out tomorrow. Thank, thank goodness, <laughs> right? Yeah. Day, yeah. Don't do that when you see Dr. Oz. Yeah. Alright? Alright. Okay, so um, continuing on a little bit, we're gonna work a little bit here too. So any other thing you can think of as far as neck goes, like well if we are working doing um the uh yeah. Uh, blows to the head. Yeah, okay, so we'll work on that next. Yeah. Right in the cranium. Okay, good. Now, let's do this. So bring this on. Let's use this one. And plus rear end auto accidents too. I've been in a bunch of those. Okay, so definitely neck. Push back. Okay. Take this hand and we're just going to put it on the forehead right here. Okay. okay. Tilt your head back. Put eyes open. Push back. Okay. Go a little bit farther back with it. No, yeah, right there. Push back. Okay, a little farther back. Push. A little farther. Push. Go kind of in the back of the head. Push. Aha. Uh -huh. So we get to the back. And we got nothing to take that down, but keep that hand, uh, keep that right hand. This, uh, right me, where? Uh, back here we have okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, relax this down. Okay. So same deal. So again, so when we, again, we're just touching spaces, right? So keep your, kind of keep your hand on that for me, like the camera, the best you can, kind of relax. And that's kind of tough one. Yeah, relax. And so we, we're just asking, kind of checking out muscles or a window in the brain. And so we kind of work on, tilting the head back on different spots and when we get to an inhibition or the muscle not working that's where we know okay we've got an injury recall on that bring this up you yeah, have keep the hand there like Simon, keep Simon, Simon, Simon okay. says head back eyes open push back nice and we got we negated it so take this hand and put it over here for me okay so head back so this eyes yeah push back this is the awesome part about this right your yeah. brain never forgets right it's like a big old elephant yeah uh push back Right here too, bring this down. So a lot of patients come in, well I don't know what I hurt. I yeah. was like two. All right, no problem. Your brain remembers, I promise you. And so we can just get in there and kind of figure it out. Was it left arm, right arm, did I dislocate some? We just kind of start asking the nervous system and the muscles are just a window into the brain, right? Just yeah. like shining pen light in your eye, you know, seeing what your pupil does, you know, how does it react? Yeah. Right. Head backwards and eyes open and push, nice. Okay, I think, let's go jaw. Let's go here for me. Okay. Yeah, you go. Put your hand on the jaw. There you go. I head back. Push. Okay, over here. Oh. Yeah, that one, yeah. Push. Good. And then we're gonna go bring this up a little bit. Like this. There we go. There you go. And now we're gonna work on the, uh, we can bring this down. Now we're just gonna work on, uh, keep it right there. Back to, again, the, uh, injury recall of the SCM. So your ster sternocleidomastoid, that's the muscle. When you get in a car wreck, you typically rip and tear this one, yeah. and you rip and tear the trapezius, and then something called the anterior scalene. Yeah. Um, and so we just work on it where they start, where they originate, and then when they where they insert. And we kind of come all the way back here and trap. And you'll be interested to know when we start talking sinuses, and car accidents and dropped on head and all that stuff. Mu the muscle organ relationship that deals back here for me with sinuses, guess what? Is SCMs and anteriors mm -hmm. and all that. So we start thinking, okay, chicken or the egg, bring it down. Is it the structure changing cranial bones here and here? So I can't breathe. Take this hand and le uh, the left one and you're gonna go right over here. Yeah, origin or is it the other way around? But either way, connected. So the fact that you've been in lots of car wrecks, it's not helping cranial bones, which is not gonna help sinuses. And we can go, okay, is it just the pollen <laughs> in, in the air, or the, the ragweed or whatever, the Texas cedar or whatever, or is it some of the structure? And then if we change that, does that help with your allergies, right? Yeah. And I think anybody in Texas who's got bad allergies and stuff, and the Claritin or whatever isn't yeah. cutting it, they'll take any kind of relief, right? Yeah. So yeah. if this brings it down a few percent, that yeah. might be well worth it, right? So yeah, hey, we're checking it out. Okay, that was that. We got head, we got neck, now we gotta go back to 
being a little tough on you. And working on, again, origin insertion. So we kind of work where the muscle starts and push it back on, kind of break down scar tissue from the SCM and all axes. Can you think of anything else while I'm mashing on this a little bit that um, is a big problem? Is there you know, any other surgeries or traumas or elbows or anything mm, else? Just too many, you know, falls doing skateboarding and also uh, stenosis from, you know, running on hard courts for 20 years in tennis. Yeah. And then just uh, too many falls off of the skateboard. Landing on the cement, cement always wins, that's for sure. <laughs> Needless to say. Is it, yeah. It's, yeah, you typically can, not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, 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 yeah. The stuff that doesn't move usually, yeah, yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah, usually don't fare too well. No. That brings me back to I, I broke my wrist one time playing hockey. And uh, the, uh, I was trying to hit a guy and I, I kind of, he kind of sidestepped me and missed him a bit. And uh, well, I tried to see if I could take out the boards instead, yeah. <clears throat> well, the boards won, right? And uh, yeah, uh, and back in those days, nowadays, the boards they kind of move a little bit, right? Yeah, back yeah. then, no, yeah. like hard as a rock, yeah, right? I'm yeah, like, yeah, and wrist broke, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not good. Yeah, you know, sometimes you wonder if guys have a death wish. <laughs> I hey. know I did. Well, you know what? It, interestingly enough, it, statistically speaking, more males are born than females. Actually, that statistic has changed. Yeah. We can talk about environment and why that may have happened, but you kind of wonder if the Lord's like, I know you guys are more a bit of a knuckleheads. Yeah. <laughs> and chances are you're going to do something dumb, right? So yeah. I better make more of you. <laughs> to keep yeah, well. Going. going. <laughs> well, I mean, there's yeah. like women. Uh, there's so many more women that are old that are still there than guys. Yeah. You know, the guys are like 10 years younger uh, than women, I think. Uh, you know, with all the knucklehead stuff that they've done, they they want the early release program. <laughs> maybe, yeah, we're just, maybe we're actually quite smart. <laughs> so I had enough to take <laughs> the Lord, the joke. I'm ready for yeah. my new glorified body. Yeah. I, I can't stand the pain anymore. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, this SCM is just not cooperating a little bit here. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah. I have the neck massager machines, and I have I use everything on my neck. Uh, all the massager things under the sun. I probably got like eight or nine different ones. I'm constantly trying to get the muscles to relax. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Anything else we can think of? That's it. I okay. think it's injured just about every part. Okay. So. Now, we had, um, I think we had increased on the right and increased on the left <clears> leg, yes. So a relaxed leg, so we're just kind of kind of come back to, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Just kind of putting this guy down that way, there we go. Okay. And so we're about here, we get tight about, so you're a lot better. That's almost to 90, yeah. right? Pretty awesome. And then we go over here. And we're almost again now not only are we way better on the right yeah we're actually even right yeah so now give me this arm this is the arm that was really kind of decreased yeah come on you gotta give me more than that that was pretty awesome right yeah. you're here yeah and you're here now and yeah. i got a little bit more that's huge. Yeah. Right. In that the first uh, thing you noticed that this one was locked up. Yeah. On that side. Uh, yeah. And sort of hurt it uh, lifting weights. Yeah. And then go here. And about even. So again, this stayed about the same, which is good. Yeah. But the most important part is even. Yeah. And that's all we did was calm the nervous system down. Right. So that is an awesome, awesome start. And again, you're going to feel the difference because you're going to move better. Bilaterally, so that's yeah, huge. Yeah. Okay, so that being said, let's uh, let's lie face down. We'll lock okay. a little bit of stuff in with the laser, okay. and then we'll be done for today. Okay. Right. So again, uh, inputting in, you don't want to do again. It's kind of like the three little bears. Yeah. Right. Where I want to just do the right amount. I, yeah. If you do too much. It's not good. If you do yeah. too little, it's not much. You yeah. just want to do the right amount. 
So that was awesome. And I love doing the beginning and end with range of motion because yeah. there's no, no denying yeah. that Holy Toledo, there's a huge difference there. Yeah. Right? So it's pretty cool. Those are the times I say I love my job. Yeah. And just blessed, right? Yeah. Blessed that um, I uh, have been able to con do continued education, you know, and just be around yeah. a lot of yeah. docs who have kind of continued to to um, educate. Yeah. And and find more ways to help the human body, and I just pick up on that. And yeah. Well, it's good to find somebody that can put the whole package together that understands injuries, understands uh, biochemistry, blood chemistry, hormone balance, electrical balance. You know, it makes a big difference. The more you understand the body, the more successful you'll be in helping the patients. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that's one reason. And again, I've always been that way mentally. It's like, oh, I don't know. I want to know. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep learning so I can figure... So you know this. You know what we do find is that yeah, yeah it's all connected, yeah. and no no one is just structure, yeah. right? So we can't just do chiropractic, and there's no one's just chemistry. We can't just do meds and nutrition, yeah. right? And and there's you know mental emotional status, right? So sure. it all plays in, and so yeah, I'm well rounded. Okay, I want to know all of it, yeah, and and work at it at the same time to get communication going, so we kind of remove all those roadblocks, yeah. So the body can do what it's meant to do, which is heal yeah. and, and be healthy and whole and strong. We should be vibrant. You know, health is not the absence of disease, right? Yeah, yeah. Health is vitality and, and your brain, no brain fog and you got yeah. energy and you yeah. sleep well and all of those things. And that's what we're meant to do and meant to be, but we've kind of settled for, oh, that's life. You know, I'm yeah. supposed to be tired. I'm supposed to be sick. I'm yeah. supposed to be, no, you're not. We're just not getting down to the problem and and fixing it and so problem solving not necessarily symptom suppression yeah all right okay my friend percussor doesn't really massage it percusses in yeah so again it all comes back to stimulating nervous system yeah. and adjustment is going to be more for you know stimulating joints yeah. Percussor is more muscles, myofascial problems, and yeah. and uh, scar tissue buildup, lymphatic drainage, mm -hmm. and then the rest, the the laser is a little bit of all of that, right? Yeah. Stimulation. Okay, that's session two. Come on up. Let's see how we do. No, oh, really good. <laughs> Feeling good? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I needed that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're like you get, squeeze a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a sore point. Yeah. You yeah. sore and you feel all the restrictions and stuff. And yeah. Once you start thinking about it, you know, just how many injuries a, yeah. a person suffers during a lifetime. Yeah. You know, compared to some of the people who have been in horrific auto accidents yeah. or. Uh, you, know, you don't think it make, it matters, right? It does because yeah. it adds up. Yeah, it adds, it adds yeah. up, right? Yeah. And the body's yeah. just like, okay, yeah. I, of course I'm not going to be able to move right. Of course yeah. I'm going to be in pain because yeah. I've had all this trauma. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, pain, realize that what you did today, we're going to turn on muscles that probably are muscle fibers that haven't been on in forever. Yeah. And so you could get a little sore, like you went to the gym for the first time in a while. Yeah. So just be cognizant of that, and that's not a problem. It's a yeah. good thing. That's, yeah. To me, those muscles are waking back up, yeah. and now they're going to move correct or help the joint yeah. move better. Yeah. And now eventually, if inflammation comes down, and we just run better. So hopefully it doesn't happen. If it does, we're icing it and maybe have some salt baths. But if not, we're just kind of doing our thing and, so and getting better. You think it's okay to work out tomorrow? You can give it a try. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do anything too strenuous. No, I'm, I'm doing yeah. lighter weights. Where yeah. I'm doing sets of 20. Yeah. With the lighter weights, I'm doing full range of motion. Yeah. On the weight machines, so yeah. I'm not having to do that doing dumbbell exercises. Yeah. I'm always, um, you know, seeing which arm is stronger. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to balance them out. Was, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of just pay attention to your body. Yeah. Pain is your brain's way of telling you stop. Don't do that anymore. So you know, no pain, no gain. No, no. We, we pain is bad. Soreness, okay, so if I'm sore and I'm, I'm working hard, that, that's not such a bad thing. But if we notice in a workout that I'm, hey, I'm feeling pain, 
that that's you need to stop because okay. that's your brain saying don't do that anymore okay right but sore okay and we kind of you typically know all the difference between yeah. pain and sore okay right? or i'm working hard yeah. yeah so pay attention thanks uh, a lot let me yeah. show you the ambidextrous yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that balances yeah. out yeah. both yeah. sides of the body yeah. and brain i came yeah. up with that i like that yeah. i like that so I have to go. do that more often so thanks a lot yeah. i appreciate Absolutely. that thanks dr ozzy yeah absolutely